Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, love peace, and happiness. Um, so we have, I'm going to say my prayer in a little bit. I'm trying to make sure I don't forget what it is I have to say. Uh, we have um, something I picked up on. There's a couple that may have committed some type of fraud. I had a dream and it has to do with like a house. I had a dream of a couple. They were either getting served or they were um, there was something where they were filling out some paperwork and they committed some type of fraud on there like they miss like they used someone else's identity to get some type of home um, and there's something going on with this home I don't know if they're not able to afford this home make the payments on this home but there's something coming out but I saw a couple in my dream forging some type of signature and they're getting served I don't know if the husband was not as aware of what was going on but the wife is the main corporate of what is going on she was the, the the head of the operation the husband may have not even known what was going on until maybe something was revealed to him i don't know if he saw some documents with a third party's information on there that should not be on there so that let him know that um uh, hey my wife did something crazy um but there's something about a house i don't know if these people were desperate to get a house or something like that and they went and forced your listen we got the six of cups out here with the community house so, yeah there's a couple that's going to get either sued but to lose everything they've been working really hard to hide this truth but they forged some type of signature or uh, either stole a house has been trying to steal something else from you. It's like these people stole from you before and then they're trying to steal from you again, pretending like something that you have is yours. Um, but this couple is going to be exposed. There is a lot of legal issues coming out. There's like they stand to lose everything. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. Thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemy against you are dismantled and dismantled as we speak as i have said so shall it be the judgment is final okay let's get go ahead and get into our tarot reading so you may end up meeting with an emperor this is going to be something that's in divine timing uh, this may lead to some type of opportunity for you. So maybe you're not aware that there's an opportunity with this Ace of Wands out here. There's an opportunity coming towards you from the Most High that you are not aware of. Um, this is something maybe that was given to a Queen of Cups reverse in the past. And this man, this Emperor is absolutely heartbroken and in distress about this Queen, Queen of Cups being out here in the reverse. Because maybe this is someone he thought was very genuine. This is someone he thought was like a business partner. This is someone he thought maybe loved him or they were true business partner or partners in crimes family friends whatever he thought they were he's finding out that this woman is very disingenuous she's really just been around him for money uh, this is not someone that's kind this is not someone that's um compassionate this is not someone that's business savvy this is someone about to go through a lot of karma as well someone is about to be having a lot of hard day hard week hard month hard life physically going through oh yeah this baby is under judgment Oh, baby, the spirit of is not playing with somebody that about to wreak havoc in her life. Havoc, okay? Um, but this emperor is absolutely in some type of uh, distress. Um, I don't think someone is crying, but they could be close to it with how bad something is going. It's like someone is finding out just what a fraud uh, a Queen of Cups reverse is. And this is someone he trusted, someone he thought was on the same page with him someone he thought he could be loyal to this is more than someone more than likely someone he told you never gotta lie to me be honest with me be straightforward with me something of that nature but it's, it turns out that this woman lied to this man she may have been doing something sneaky behind the scenes and your ancestors or his ancestors whoever's ancestors the spirit around god dang it has stepped in to reveal some type of truth to him. So he's going through some type of revelation. He may also even be finding out that his interaction with this Queen of Cups reverse was nev never something that was coincidental. It was not something natural. This is something that was planned, okay? It was planned meticulously by her for the both of them to meet, to have some type of interaction, whether it's business or whether it's intercourse, 
with this ace of wands out here this may be like an opportunity maybe he gave to her some type of opportunity it put her in a new light made her feel real comfortable uh she didn't have to worry about bills anymore everything was paid for all of that um maybe even moved into a new home new environment new company whatever this is but someone took that for granted and now she's under some type of judgment the spirit realm is not playing with this woman um they are absolutely balancing something out she could have even been trying to steal some type of relationship from a genuine queen of cups and the spirit realm is not having it um yeah they're not having it this woman is under some type of terrible judgment we have the ten of wands out here they're they're also exposing some type of plot this woman may have had with other people to block two people from coming together someone got so desperate to block two people from coming together she may have ordered a hit on another energy like a feminine energy uh she may have ordered like a hit man or something yeah trying to block a reunion from coming together you see them coming together to meeting becoming the oh, baby girl baby boy to meeting right becoming one with this uh uh what is this i always forget a lion a sphinx with this sphinx up here this is the two of them coming together and manifesting a new reality together Oh, don't quote me on this. I think this is a, oh, like, I forgot what the, is that cute? No, I forgot what this is. But this is symbolic of two people coming together and manifesting a new reality together. Excuse me for forgetting my freaking metaphysics knowledge. God dang it. Anyways, I'm glad my professors don't even watch me so they don't know that. That would be so embarrassing. Anyways, this woman has been plotting, uh, has been working with other people behind the scenes to block two people from coming together may have ordered a hit man if people didn't know that it's going to be exposed that someone has been very desperate to, de to get another feminine energy out of the way you are like the barrier to this woman having her dreams come true and it's some type of dream that's based on a false and faulty foundation and it's being dismantled by the spirit realm you didn't even have to do anything the judgment is that she is going through karma getting a taste of her own medicine and while she's been plotting to end two people from coming together working together she's about to be sitting and watching the both of you do just that that is how the ancestors or the universe plays you two people you two will be coming together nobody knows when it is going to happen the spirit realm is the only one that knows what is going to be happening i just heard about someone being locked up i don't know if they tried to get someone locked up so that it would keep the both of you separate or something like that i don't know what this is yeah they try to get someone locked up or they have someone locked up she She's going to jail herself. Someone has committed a lot of fraud out here. Uh, you could have an emperor that's in the public eye. Or someone that's very, very diplomatic. Uh, someone that's seen something from a new perspective. This is an emperor that's about his business. This could be someone that travels a lot as well. Um, so maybe he may be traveling to your city, your town, your country, wherever it is, your state. Um, but someone travels a lot. Someone is very innovative. This is someone that is very much blessed by the Most High, very genuine. This is someone you have a past life connection with, a soul, a soul contract with. So this, is, this could be like a... a a soulmate of yours with this twin flame, the two of cups being out here. This could be a soulmate of yours. Maybe you've never met this person, of course. Uh, so then this is something happening in divine timing with the two of you meeting, coming together, right? And starting some type of or embarking on some type of journey together. So some of you may end up relocating with your emperor. Uh, he's or he's relocating to be closer to you in divine timing. This man thinks very highly of you, um, maybe very um, smitten by you. Maybe he's never met you. Uh, maybe he's seen you somewhere you don't know. Maybe he saw you on social media, saw you walking by. I don't know what this is, but someone is very much infatuated with your mental. I see a, little, a lot of mental cards out here with the two of cups. It has to do with mental as well because two people have to put their minds together and manifest a new reality as well uh two people being like-minded as well when it comes to the six of cups you got to be very uh, mentally stable as well to be in this two of wands energy because these are business savvy people people that are very innovative uh very authentic original you need your mental so there's a lot of mental cards on out here someone is very much infatuated with your mental um they may have a lot of uh, uh admiration for you i'm not going to call it love right now but they may have a lot of admiration for you and maybe sometime down the line that's going to turn into some type of 
love connection, okay, with the twin, two of cups being out here. But someone is moving forward in victory. This person is definitely watching you, and they're coming towards you to to give you some type of offer of friendship, sees you as someone very beautiful. You may be someone that lives in your truth, very authentic. So you two could be star seeds or as well. Um, so that's very beautiful, two star seeds coming together. This is someone who's a bachelor as well, okay? So he's single now. Maybe he was in a relationship with that queen of cups reverse for a long time. And now he's like, mm, nah, I can't do this no more. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, absolutely. He's done. He's moving on. He's freeing himself with whatever contract, whatever agreement he had with this Queen of Cups reverse and moving on. Like someone is freeing themselves. And this is why he's he's going on some type of uh, voyage. He's going on a travel. Like someone is taking action to free himself from heartbreak, from disappointment, betrayal by this Queen of Cups. More than likely other people around him. Um, it's what is going on. Yeah, this is someone very single and very content in life. This is a bachelor and he's standing his ground against these people. They're trying to stop him from taking action. But this is someone that's self-minded. As the two of wands, the diplomatic kind of mindset, you got to be absolutely self-minded. Someone that thinks for themselves. These are thinkers. Someone is very, very uh, 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 analytical. Um, someone analyzes things in a very unique way and people may not know it. These are people who like, before you even go to them, they may be aware of a situation, but they won't tell you they are aware. They just want to see what it is you're going to say. Um, if you're going to tell the truth or whatever, if you're going to misrepresent yourself, um, I don't know how he felt for this woman, but someone is very innovative, innovative, analytical. Um, I don't know, maybe he second guessed himself getting into this situation with her. Whatever it is, someone is back on their game, on their A game. They don't want to put on their emperor hat, emperor shoes, and their emperor blazer, and they're moving on with their life. This is someone I'm picking up on that likes to dress very nice. He's used to the finer things in life. Uh, but humble at the same time, very daring at heart. Someone who loves the color blue. I don't know what this is. Uh, maybe someone's eyes are blue. There's something with the color blue. Okay, I see a lot of blue out here. Someone likes the color blue. Peace, very peaceful, chillax. But there's another nature to this man. He said, don't try me. I'm very diplomatic. I'm very uh, professional. But if you play with me, king of source. Yeah, like someone is very like perfecto. Okay, very perfecto. I don't know if they tried to get, I don't know if this, I don't know if this woman tried to play some type of game with this man, get him locked up or something, and he's, oh, got him locked up or something, girl, you're done. Like, he's not talking to you after this, because these kind of energies, these are not people you play around with, especially someone that is in a two of wands, that's not someone you play with. You see him, he's being set free, and he's getting the heck away from her ass, oh yeah. Getting the heck away from her, taking a new path, going in, going within, doing that introspection, and seeing things for what it is, not what he want it to be. Because that's what we do a lot of times. That's the mistake we make. We want to see things for what we want them to be, not for what they are. This is a moron. Maybe he's seen her as a moron now. Excuse me, that's the vocabulary that was given to me to use, but that's a moron. And he's finding out that she's a moron, and he's accepting the fact that she's a moron, okay? Excuse my French, sorry, if you're watching this, but it is what it is. You know it, I know it. <laughs> if you're an emperor, I'm pretty sure that's what you said in your head a few times, or you want to see, say it. But someone is being set free, Okay. Free from heartbreak, disappointment. Yeah, he's been set free. Now he can uh, go on ahead and invest in things that are worthwhile, people that are worthwhile, because these are people, the emperor that I'm picking up on, this is someone that invests. I'm telling you, this man is a thinker. This is someone that's a thinker, a planner, very logical. They like to invest in people. And you know, as... You know, as analytical or as uh, mentally stable a lot of people are, everybody's prone to make some type of mistake. So maybe this was a lesson he needed to learn. So it's not that he didn't, you know, he didn't maybe pick up on things that she was doing, but there was some, maybe some type of contract between the both of them on a universal level where there was a lesson he needed to learn from this queen of cups reverse and he's learned that lesson and now he's freeing himself and figuring out how to move on with his life. He's very, he's very heartbroken about investing in this woman. 
absolutely heartbroken. He's heartbroken about uh, partnering up with her, whether this was love, trusting her, because someone has broken his trust. She betrayed him miserably. May have even turned a whole community against him or tried to get a whole community to go against him. Maybe even misusing his family and things like that to turn on him. Like someone is very conniving, very malicious. It's like someone taking you uh, from the bottom and giving you a good life, uh, putting you on a pedestal, and you, then you turn around and stab them in the back 10 times. You see those tenosaurs out there? That's what she was doing, stabbing this man in the back 10 times repeatedly and not feeling any ways about it because this is someone all they think about is money. This is someone that manipulates people. The Queen of Cups Reverse is a very dangerous person to be around. Emotionally unstable. Don't even get on the mental side. This is someone that's very emotionally unstable. May even be emotionally unavailable. They manipulate people's emotions. Play with people's emotions to get what it is they want out of them. Um, and once they get what it is they want out of you, you're just another tool laying about. They don't care who you are, what you are, what you did for them. They don't get two Fs. Okay? They've gotten their fulfillment out of you. You don't serve a purpose anymore. That's what I'm picking up on this woman. But whoever this emperor is, this, a plan this is a planner. This is a thinker. But this person thinks in a healthy way. We're not talking about like a eight of cups, I mean eight of swords kind of thinker. The eight of swords kind of thinker are people that are very unhealthy. They haven't mastered themselves yet. Uh, they're in some type of self-imposed imprisonment and things like that. That's not this emperor I'm picking up on. Whoever I'm picking up on is someone that's very logical, uh, someone that's very grounded, very stable, in tune with his uh, higher self. Um someone is very like spiritual as well okay and there's some type of experience he has had that has forced him to imp that up like i gotta be on this full time now i can't just be doing it here and there someone is a full-time analytical thinker there <laughs> oh sir they'll, they'll, those karmics they'll do it to you sometimes you know they come to try to destroy us but they don't realize what it is they're doing is helping us yeah a brother is out here listening to his intuition now about a group of people a group of friends uh i keep seeing the the three of cups there's something about the uh the power of three they've been working together behind the scenes to keep this man trapped i don't know if this queen of cups reverse left her community to go to someone else's community yeah baby please <laughs> Uh, to go to someone else's community to cause problems, right? To keep them stuck. Yeah, this woman is going, oh yeah. yeah she, I, I guess she's turning a new leaf. Girl, you're going to have to. You're going to have to. But that, that man is free himself from you. You're going to have to. I think this woman, as, as low vibrational as she must be, as she is, or showing up, she's starting to see things for what it is. She's starting to accept things for what they are. Like She's thinking about it. Yeah, he's not staying with me, is he? Nope. Yeah, he's not going to be investing with me anymore, is he? Nope. Yeah, I'm not his number one choice. Nope. He knows the truth about what it is I've been doing. Yep. Yep. So she's accepting her, her uh, karma, basically. Which, girl, that, 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 that's what you're supposed to do. That shows that you are maturing up. Took you a while to get there. Like, it, do, it does a lot of us. But girl, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the universe had to force someone. They had to force someone to mature the heck up. And maybe she's not even, like, she's resisting that change. She's still out here trying to cause illusions, but a sister has embarked on the journey. So let's give her kudos for that. She may not be all the way there. But yeah. I don't know if this girl was locked up as well and she's coming out of prison to find out that everything is lost. There ain't no ten of pentacles being given to her. The business is over. Whatever money she thought she was going to receive is over. And that's by judgment of the spirit realm. It says since you want to dismantle or destroy other people's businesses, their, their paths were taking everything. So there's a whole community, a whole group of people. They're about to lose everything, losing their jobs losing their stability, and this is not something they were re ready for either, and they're going through some type of karma. That ten of swords, maybe it ain't pretty. When you, when you strategically, wholeheartedly, uh, cautiously decide, I didn't know what other words to use, they're being creative today, decide to do someone something, man manifest that ten of swords energy for someone else, you better be willing and ready to take it on because the universe is reciprocating that same energy back to you. They said, oh, you're sending out this tender source to that person? Okay. Now, we're going to let you watch this person. We're going to let you do that tender source, right? And we're going to show you how they go through this. 
right? They're going to come out of it still whole, still kind-hearted, very nurturing, down-to-earth, humble, and healed and balanced like we need them to be. Now, when we give you those ten of swords, we're going to need you to have that same energy about yourself. You think you can do that? You can't do She cannot do it. She cannot do it. I'm telling you, she cannot do it. It's the end. It's the end for the power of three. It's the end for the community. It's the end for the family. Whatever resources they were enjoying off of your back or blocking your blessings, it's over. It's over, okay? And they're still out here trying to steal. It's the end of them celebrating through thievery because these are people that have to steal or they feel like they have to steal from other people to be able to thrive in life. That's not how it's set up. That's not how it's set up. You don't got to steal from people. Go work for what it is you want. When you see other people putting in the work to get what it is they want in life, go do the same thing. Don't bother them. Leave them alone. When people don't bother you, don't bother them. When they bother you, then you bother them. None of you in your communities can say someone did one thing to you. You came after someone solely because of money, because of jealousy, greed. This has always had to do with some type of Ten of Pentacles. But the Ten of Pentacles you all are trying to defend was built on faulty ground. That's why it's out here in the reverse as well. And this is why it's being dismantled. You don't get it. It was built on faulty ground. Queen of Wands in a community is a thief. And she's under investigation. You didn't know you were under investigation, girl. Girl, darling girl. You thought you were going to keep stealing from that man and just get away with it? Playing with his emotions, trying to make it seem like you are... Uh, his partner in crime as far as business you are the ideal person to give for the opportunity uh, blah 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 baby two people are going to meet and move on with their life and worry about you your ancestors or anybody else because their ancestors are ready to kick a s s e s and take names and they don't feel no ways about it you can get it you can get it you can get it at this point they say you get karma you get karma you all get karma they're on their oprah winfrey s-h-i-t they don't care okay they said we are in charge of this situation. So you you want you want a piece of us? Come on on. Come on. Come 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 on. Come on, come get it. Come on, come get it. We'll straighten you out with the truth. Okay, you're gonna have truth and clarity by the time you come up out of this situation. But there's a leader, either an institution or a higher fan that now knows the truth or is speaking the truth. They're confessing because something is just out of hand, it's out of control. Okay, maybe they didn't know the truth people before or they were hiding the truth, but this the truth. The truth is out. And this is because of your strength. You may have outlasted a community or an institution, a couple, a person that was trying to just beat you down in life, period. One to you out here living in fear, but your strength got you through this dark night of the soul that was imposed upon you by these people. Most of these people you don't even know. That's the part of be they, they just be bugging me, folks. Stuff like that just be bugging me. Like, you don't even know these people, whether on a professional or a personal level. You don't know them in depth. They don't even know you. But because they see that you are very abundant in life by means of the spirit realm, they want to block your blessings. Or there are people that feel like they're better than you because of the color of their skin. And they say, no, that's not how it works because I've been picking up on the it's situation the bigotry the prejudice all kinds of stuff i've been picking it up picking up on in this these uh um, communities that that's that's solely why they came after you because of money greed insecurities that don't got nothing to do with you go on and heal do the work to heal you see how you're freeing yourself from your mental imprisonment and accepting the fact that this is over and you're gonna have to move on baby go ahead and free yourself from from from, from the, the the mindset that you've been in forever, but nobody cares what you do today, tomorrow, the day after, this year, next year, whenever. Two people that are meant to be will be meeting and sailing onto karma waters, okay? Either as two friends or two lovers or two partners in business, okay? My th third finger was coming out, which means they're going to be multiplying. So either they're going to be building a themselves a soul tribe or they're going to be having uh, some beautiful babies or a beautiful baby. Girl, you're going to have to accept it. And you're going to have a front row seat. That's what I'm being told to watch these two come on together. The ancestors are going to be there. Come on now, Elizabeth. 
Get your chair. Uh huh. Get your popcorn. What do you like to drink? Talking about, I don't got no money to buy no drink. That's okay. We're going to bless you with a drink today. Go on, sit down. You like Fanta? You like Sprite? You like water? What do you like to drink? We're going to have someone bless you with a drink today. You're going to have your drink, your popcorn, and everything to watch these two here come together. Okay, baby. Oh, and you are living in fear because destiny is playing out. All the trickery, the lies, the confusions, everything. Everything is being well looked into and balanced. Our destiny is playing out. Girl, you're being invested. My get it. Everybody is being invested. My get it. And all of the, all of that is over. O-V-E-R. Trying to put an end to someone giving a friendship offer, love offer, whatever this is. Meeting with someone, going to work, someone trying to put an end to it. All of that is over. It's over. It is over. I'm trying to have that man living in fear or that woman living in fear of going to their uh, soulmate or their future business partners. That's, that's his destiny you're trying to block him from. I don't know if you all ever think about that. That once someone becomes aware of something and they know you're trying to block them. That's how they see it. You're trying to block me from my destiny. Who the heck? <sighs> Who the F are you to be blocking someone from their destiny? Go fix your own destiny. Because you don't wreck it with all this stuff you've put yourself in. All the karma you've accumulated. Go fix your own life. Stop bothering other people. You don't want someone to have wish fulfillment. Don't want people investing in something. Who are you? You don't even got a pot to piss in if someone wasn't helping you. You forgot about that? Girl, I'm getting all the, the, the details. On. You don't got a pot to piss in if someone was not helping you. But you're out here with your nose held up at people like you're better than other people. Girl, shut up and sit your raggedy behind down. Yeah, please, please, please. Please do sit down. And I ain't saying you a queen of swords energy because, I mean, you could be, but in the lower end, the lower end, the opposite spectrum. Sit down somewhere. Sit down. Don't get. I don't want her to have that. If she has that, she's gonna be better than me. He's gonna be better than me. He's gonna be living a good life, comfortable. Gonna be doing this and doing. It. What does that gotta do with you? You know how insecure you sound, and that man sees that you're out here trying to act like you're not bothered by him by balancing something out, whatever this is, and you're bothered, so bothered. Why are you so bothered? Cause you wanna argue. Nobody wants to argue. This man don't even wanna argue with you. He's tired. He said, God dang it, Elizabeth, I ain't tired. I tired, girl, I'm tired. Elizabeth, he is tired. I heard something about England or Britain. I don't know if these people if these people are overseas. Listen, I ain't even about to play with you all's accent. Beautiful accent, but I can never get that accent down. Would you like a ball? What? I can't. I cannot. But it's very beautiful. This could be people that are in a whole different country. Come on. And you're out here trying to cause endings for someone stalking another woman. You crazy? You want to argue. Girl, we don't want to argue with you. You mad. You going to stay mad because our collective ain't, wanna, ain't mad. Our collective is happy. You're going to have to be angry by yourself. You want to argue. We don't want to argue with you. You mad. Leave us alone. <laughs> Anyways, folks. Uh, yeah. Oh, dang. <laughs> These people said they're doing any and everything to block these two from moving on, but the universe is all over this. They said this family is going to have to move on, this institution, whether this is a business. They said the business is over. You are, you are going to have to move on, respect yourself, respect your destiny. Uh, mend what it is that you have already broken as far as in your lineage, because whatever you all have done, the karma is not just going to affect you. It's going to be affecting your children, grandchildren, generations to come. There are certain things you do in your lifetimes that don't just affect you. Okay. It goes to your lineage. So you've helped your lineage accumulate more karma. Okay. You may not experience as bad of a karma, but what it is what sometimes these other people's ancestors will do because they have the authority to do that. Um, they'll have your children experience the karma and make sure that you are living long enough to see them go through their karma. Okay, uh, so you may want to be careful out here. Okay, when you are getting up and feeling all bad and bougie about yourself and thinking that you are in control of other people's destiny and just 
trying to wreak havoc, keep them trapped, get them sick, get them unalive and things like that, trying to block them from moving on with their lives, even though they ain't paying you any mind and things like that. Man, this man is moving on. But your karma ain't moving on. It's My yacht is knocking at that door. Boop, 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 boop. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, girl, you know I know where you live. I am my yacht. I know where everybody lives, including the nomads, okay? So, I'm going to need you to open up or I can bust this door down. Which one? You know my head on play. She about to bust that door down with her swords, her her feet. Boom, 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 boom. My yacht, open up. You know how the police be or the FBI be. FBI, open up. Which reminds me, I had a vision of the of a squat team going to somebody's uh home. Somebody's in trouble. You getting arrested? I don't know what you've been up to. But somebody is getting arrested. You're going to be doing some hard time. You've been doing something illegal. Someone has been misusing, I don't know, their military uh, clearance. For some, you're in trouble. I saw a group of men in their attires with their gears go into somebody's house. Baby, it's about to be a tower for somebody. And they're going to a jail. You better be careful what it is you do to people out here. Some people, ancestors, don't care who you are in your society. They say, oh, F you and your title and your money. You messed with the wrong one. This child right here, that one right there, don't never touch that one again. You should have never touched that one in the first place. But what we're going to do now, what we're going to do is help you not make that mistake again okay okay anyways thank you folks for watching stay blessed i'll see you in my next read thank you for watching the ascended divination priestess channel stay blessed i'll see you in my next read goodbye for now